Okay, the fourth part of our lower quarter screen, we'll look at the reflexes specifically, looking at the quadriceps reflex, patella tendon reflex, and also the Achilles tendon reflex. Um, with, with reflex testing, again, you always want to have the patient relaxed. You want to be brisk, and you want to make sure you hit in the right, right region. With this test, we'll check on the patella tendon, have the patient relaxed, distracted, and give a nice brisk test. It's very good reflexes there, and then also tapping there. Occasionally, I'm not even going to use a hammer. I can just use the side of my hand and we'll get the same reaction. I would say she's a three plus in this case. She's a little bit hyper reflexive with that, but not pathological. Just probably a large cup of coffee earlier than this. Checking the Achilles tendon reflex. We're going to slightly uh, dorsiflex the foot, putting a stretch on the plantar flexors, and then I'm going to tap the Achilles tendon, and you'll feel pressure down into your hand, and you'll see your foot jump a little bit too. I'll switch hands so you can appreciate that, see that a little bit better. I'm going to tap her foot goes down. Again, she has very good reflexes. If you do get patients who don't have a good reflex uh, response, whether it's upper or lower extremity, you can distract them, something called the gendrastic maneuver, where you'll take your hands, take your hands like that, and you're going to pull them apart. So you ask them to pull them apart while you do the reflex testing. In her case, we don't need to do that, but if you're not getting that, you can either talk to the patient to distract them, or again, the gendrastic uh, maneuver, having them pull apart like that. So lower quarter screen reflex testing.